Hello there. Yes, uh, Sunderland City Council has been a Labour stronghold uh, since day one, 1974. And although it's a Labour stronghold, that hold has certainly weakened in terms of support and, and especially seats. You know, Labour lost 10 seats in 2019 and nine seats in 2021. So it was a huge worry that they only had to lose six seats to lose overall control this time. Now, the leader of Sunderland City Council is Councillor Graham Miller. He's been in power since 2018. I spoke to him the day before the voting started on the phone. He was very high spirits. He was very confident. And they have actually managed to hold on, despite some heavy campaigning from the Conservative Party. The big guns have been here, haven't they? So we've had the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson here, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Richie Sunak has been here. And so Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has come up twice in a bid to try and balance that out. Well, one Labour MP said this morning that the Conservative Party had thrown the kitchen sink at Sunderland in a bid to take it. And that's something that Councillor Graham Miller recognised when I spoke to him early this morning. You do not uh, often get the leader of the party of government, the Prime Minister, plus the Chancellor, plus as many of the Conservative Party as you can get in a councillor's ward when they've got a hashtag get Miller out campaign. Seriously and the Dirty Tricks Brigade joining in as well. So I've had all of that and I've beat them all and I'm still here and I'm still winning, Boris. Uh, and we've shown that people in Sunderland are, are looking at voting Labour again with the, the swing in the polls that we had in the city yesterday. So it's very unusual and you've got to ask what it says when the Prime Minister's brought into my ward to beat a mere councillor, because that's all I am. And... Uh, he doesn't, they don't win. They just don't win. So I'm delighted we showed them a bloody nose in my ward and long may it continue. Yes, well, Councillor Miller also said that Partygate had helped them out tremendously. He was aware of that. And the opposition leader at Sunderland City Council, Anthony Mullen, he's criticised the government quite publicly about the national picture and how that's affected his local politics. I'm going to end with the numbers, the council seats as they stand now. Sadly, one um, ward is being rescheduled because of a death. But Labour have 41, the Conservatives 18, Lib Dems 14 and one independent. There was a 34% turnout. Turnout in the Sunderland local elections, Labour keep their hold.